guys, welcome back to another video. Today, we're doing something different. Okay, um, as you can see in the title, we are solving a 3x3 three three, uh, Rubik's Cube. We haven't done a Rubik's Cube video on this channel, but today, I decided to do this. Um, I did search up how to solve a 3x3 three three Rubik's Cube. There aren't that many videos. There are a few, but they're not that good quality. So I thought, hey, I'm going to make a good quality one. Um, I saw a few out there that did have some good quality ones, but not as many with 3x3. Three three. So, I thought that I would um, do the 3x3. Three three. Now, what I'm thinking of doing is doing it in separate videos. So, this video here is going to be showing you how to do the cross and then how to do the corners. Um, we're going to be working with CFOP, which is a Rubik's Cube um, pronunciation, which is where you basically just... Um, shows you through the steps of how you do the Rubik's Cube. So today we are starting with C, which is the cross. So let's get started with the cross. Um, all you got to really do is start with the green up, or any colour that you choose, and then the blue down the bottom. So say if you're starting with yellow, then we'll have yellow at the top, and then um, white down the bottom. So basically what we're looking at is the centre pieces, because the centre pieces are kind of what we're going to be looking at this whole time. So in case this case, my centerpiece will be green, <clears throat> and the other side <coughs> is blue, which will be facing down the whole entire time. Now what we're going to be doing is we're going to be solving the cross first. So all you got to do is look for a green piece that will either fit here, 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 or here. So let's look for one. So there is two here, so there's one here, and then there is also one here. Now, what, when you find one, I'm just going to be working with this one here. You look on the other side of that piece, which in this case, there is an orange piece. So, we've got to match that up with this centre piece here. So, what you got to do is get this piece, hold it with the green facing you, or you could hold it with the orange facing away. But the easiest way is to hold it with the green facing you and the orange to the right. Bring it down like this and move it across like that. That's all you got to do to get this green piece matching up with this. So now we have this line here. Now you got to do is spin it twice like this up to the top so it connects with this. So basically you're just going to do that with all of them except with their different colours. So we have one here which has got a yellow on it so let's match it up with yellow. So if it's down here all we got to do is scroll across so you can find the yellow. Here it is here. So match the green up with the yellow this time, and then spin it like this, this way, up, and then just pull it back up. So eventually you will get to this here. Now, as you can see, we have a piece right here. Now this is just by coincidence, you don't have to have one of those pieces right there. Um, but in this case, because I'm just showing you how to do the cross in this video, I will just take that out and I'll also take this piece out so we only have these two pieces because this is um, the only two pieces that we really need so far. So we will be moving on to the next one. So there's another one down the bottom, so do the same thing. It has a white on the bottom. Move it to the white and then all you're going to do is move it across, up, and then the front around. Now we have nearly the whole cross aligned so all we're going to do is find one more which is up the top so it's got a red on it so what we're going to do is it's already matched up with red but we're going to get the red facing the red so we're going to go around like this we're going to go down across and then because there's a green here we're just going to face that one up again and then just swing it around twice like that. So now we have the cross and one there which we don't need so I'll take that apart like that so now we have the cross um, I am going to show you how to do the corners in this video just because it's been a pretty pretty quick video um, so how to do the corners is you look for a corner green piece so in this case there is a green one match it up with the color that's on the side of it not on the bottom because that will mess up the cross so it's a green and it has a red on it. So what you're going to do is you're going to spin it around until it aligns up with this piece here, like on a diagonal line. So nope, nope, and here. So we've aligned that like this. It doesn't have to have this piece here. It could just be like that. So what you're going to do is have the green facing you and whatever color is on the side, in this case red, to your right. 
and spin the bottom once to the left then the right down back in so it places in here and then spin it up now we have the corner in place and as you can see it is in the middle of these two um, little squares here so now all we got to do is the same on either side now you might be thinking that um there's one up here and how you're supposed to get that down there it's just a really simple move all you got to do is look at the green and have it facing down like this and then just move it across um right and then you just got to move it back up and there it is there um i will just place this piece in again so it's got a white on the side of it so move it to white like this and then do the same algorithm move it across left down place it back in bring it back up so now we have the red side sole for the top layer half of the yellow and also half of the white now what we got to do is the other two sides of the top and now we will have the top layer all done so we've got to find another one here is one here so this one has a yellow on the side of it so we move it to the yellow it's matched up now look at the green and have the whatever color it is on the side facing to the right and do the exact same algorithm as you do the other times just like that now we have this last green piece here match it up it's got a green uh, orange on the side so match that up have it facing to your right and do the same algorithm just like that place it back in now we have the green side all completed um, the green side is obviously the easiest side to do. It's one of the longest things that you could do besides the bottom. Um, <clears throat> yeah, but the top side is actually pretty easy. Now, I have been doing um, these cubes for about two or three years. So it doesn't take that long to learn, but you can learn that move off by heart pretty quickly. Um, but yeah, please stay tuned to my channel. Check out the next video to see how to do the second layer of the Rubik's Cube. And yeah, I'll see you guys later.